ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning into the program. We've got a special surprise for you tonight. We were able to obtain direct from the Mormon strongholds in the great walled city of Salt Lake a copy of Elias, an Epic of the Ages. This is an epic poem recently published by Mormon apostle Orson Whitney. Fancies himself a regular Edmund Spencer, ha! Tonight, our very own Theodore is going to read you part of Canto Three, Whitney's words about the Savior Jesus Christ. Take it away, Theodore. Thank you, Alistair. <coughs> a stranger star that came from far to fling its silver ray, where cradled in a lowly cave, a lowlier infant lay. And led by soft sidereal light, the Orient sages bring bare gifts of gold and frankincense to greet the homeless king. O wondrous grace, will gods go down thus low that men may rise, imprisoned here the mighty one who reigned in yonder skies. Hark to that chime, what tongue sublime now tells the hour of noon. O dying world, art welcoming life's life, light's sun and moon. Glory to God, good will to man, peace, peace, triumphal tone. Why peace? Is discord then no more? Are earth and heaven as one? Peace to the soul that serveth him, the monarch manger born. There, ruler of unnumbered realms, here, throneless and forlorn. He wandered through the faithless world, a prince in shepherd guise. He called his scattered flock, but few the voice did recognize. For minds upborne by hollow pride, or dimmed by sordid lust, ne'er look for kings in beggar's garb, for diamonds in the dust. Wept he above a city doomed, her temple walls and towers, or palaces where recreant priests usurped unhallowed powers. I am the way, the life, the light. Alas, twas heeded not, ignored, nay, mocked, God scorned by man and spurned the truth he taught. O bane of damning unbelief, when, when till now so rife, thou stumbling stone, thou barrier thwart the gates of endless life, O love of self and mammon lust, twin portals to despair, where bigotry, the blinded bat, flaps through the midnight air. Through these gloom-wrapped Gethsemane, thy glens of guilty shade, grieved o'er the sinless Son of God, by gold-bought kiss betrayed, Beheld him unresisting dragged, forsaken, friendless, lone, To halls where dark-browed hatred sat on judgment's lofty throne. As sheep before his shearers dumb, those patient lips were mute, The clamorous charge of taunting tongues he deigned not to dispute. They smote with cruel palm a face which felt yet bore the sting, Then crowned with thorns his quivering brow, and mocking hailed him king. Transfixed he hung, O crime of crimes, that God whom worlds adore. Father, forgive them, drained the dregs. Emmanuel, no more. No more, where thunders shook the earth, where lightnings tore the gloom, saw that unconquered spirit spurn the shackles of the tomb. Far flaming might, a sword of light, a falchion from its sheath. It cleft the realms of darkness and dissolved the bands of death. Hell's dungeons burst, wide open swung the everlasting bars, whereby the ransomed soul shall win those heights beyond the stars. Back to you, Alistair. Thank you, Theodore. Well, folks, that was better than I expected. If the rest of the poem is that good, it might be worth purchasing a copy for yourself, if you happen to be heading to Utah any time soon. <laughs> That's our show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you for supporting our sponsor.